In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create 3D models using Meshi. I will also show you how you can animate those 3D models and how you can texture them. So you have an all-in-one AI tool to create 3D models. The tool I'm gonna use is called Meshi and Meshi is the leading AI tool for generating 3D models. They have over 20 million 3D models and there are more than 2 million 3D creators on their platform. So it's really the largest 3D AI tool that you can find now. Besides that, A17Z Games surveyed 650 plus game studios and game developers to explore how they are using AI. And Meshi was recognized as the only 3D AI tool in that list. And if you decide to use Meshi, feel free to use my link in the description of the video. Let's go into Meshi and create some 3D models. Here I'm at the starting screen of Meshi. And you can see here, this is the generations from the community. So you can really look at these images, what is generated, then you can click on them and you get all the information. You get the prompt, you get the texture sheet, you get a model sheet etc you can even download these models if you want to but let's create our own i'm gonna go to text to 3d because i want to create a 3d model from text and on the right side of our screen we can write out our prompt if you don't know how to write prompts you can also click on examples to see some examples of some prompts in the tutorials you can also get some tutorials on this let's create our own prompt i'm gonna create a teddy bear and I'm gonna make it some sort of a Disney character and I'm gonna make a T-pose. Now the T-pose is pretty important because if you want to animate a character, you wanna make sure it's standing in a T-pose to get the best animation. If you, for example, have an image of a 3D model and you like it and you wanna get kind of the same image, you can also extract prompt from images. Here you can upload your own image or image that you found on the internet and then it's gonna make a prompt from that image. Let's keep the symmetry at auto and let's just click on generate and this is gonna cost 10 credits. All right, the generation is done and it took me about 20 seconds to generate this and let's click on it and let's select this one. The next thing that we need to do is we need to texture it. So here we have the settings for the texture. I'm gonna keep it as it is and for the topology, I'm also gonna select triangle just to get more details in my 3D model. Let's now click on confirm and this is gonna cost 10 credits. All right, the texturing is done and let's have a look at the result. Here is a textured model. And look at that. That looks like a real teddy bear. This looks awesome. And you can see how great this already looks with just a couple of seconds, we created a 3D model and we textured it already. And the only thing we did was we just write out the prompt and clicked on texture it. Now, the next thing that you could do here is you could either download your 3D model, here you have the settings and which file format you want to use, or we can create an animation from our 3D model. So let's create an animation by going down here and select rig, because we need to rig our character. Let's click on next. And here we need to set the size for the 3D model. Let's click on next. And here we have the placemakers. Let's put them in the right place. So let's put this one here. The chin is here. Here we have the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the knees and the ankle. And here you can see why we needed a T-pose on our 3D model because now we can really make the animation correct. I think this looks fine. Let's click on confirm and now it's gonna rig our character. And the only thing we have to do is to we have to wait until this is done and it's gonna be a couple of seconds. And let's look at the result and there is our animated teddy bear. So here you can find some animations. If you would like to use one of these, just pick one of these. And now you can download this 3D model and then import this into Blender or Unreal Engine, whatever you like to do with this 3D model and use it for your own project. And it's gonna save you a lot of time to create 3D models with this AI tool called Meshi. And this is really the best 3D AI tool on the market right now. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one.